Welcome back everybody, the Staus here. We're here on the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Let's Play World once again, good old times. Last episode we did a world tour on here, um, and it, as you guys know, we are continuing the the Let's Play of this world, um, because we were doing the Underground Castle Survival, which we still are, but we are going to continue on this one as well. If you didn't catch up on the last couple episodes, I have mentioned that, but um, Today, we got some stuff to do on here. We got lots of stuff to do on here, believe it or not. <laughs> um, I actually uh, am starting something. If you remember a while ago, this section of the house where this water goes up, we were going to build a mage tower up here. But um, I didn't like the look of it, and I took it down. So uh, we never ended up getting around to actually making a real mage tower. So, <laughs> Well, I don't like calling it a mage tower. I called it a mage tower in that episode. But in, in reality, it's going to be like a like a watchtower or something. We just we're going to be building this place even higher. That I decided that um, it'll make it look way better. You can see it from a distance, and oh man! But as you can see, this is where I'm going to build the new one. As you can see, I already started on it. Um, I'm not going to put any logs on it. That's my mistake I did last time. I put logs on the side. But um, I got a feeling like right in between here, I'm going to put some supports because it looks kind of look like that's floating over this but um i think i'm gonna go up six blocks on the first layer then go all in one block and then go up six more blocks to make it get thinner as it goes up and then at the top i'll probably have it like where my cursor is right here about that tall um it's basically going to be a tower to go to view around the whole world um so yeah i got some more blocks going here i'm probably gonna have to go to the mesa and get some more because i'm getting kind of low yeah i'm getting very low sadly uh, luckily our cactus farm is working now, so I can just swoop by there and grab some materials. I don't have a way up here currently. Let's see if I can... This staircase is going to go to, um, this isn't it right here. This thing, I don't like it a whole lot, so I think I'm just going to end up making a ladder straight up and down. Um, so it'll be way easier to get up there. Let's see what we can do here real quick. I need some ladders. There we go. Let me just get up here real quick and I can... Wait, maybe I can go right here. Alright, that works. <laughs> just tear a hole in the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, is there even a way in? Oh, man. This is a mess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as you can see, uh, I'll have windows going up, but I think in the center, I might have a staircase wrapping around on the inside. But I'm going to go ahead and work on that a bit, and then I'll update you guys on it and see how it turns out. So I'll be right back. This is the worst part about it all. Running out of blocks. <laughs> I don't think I have any left. No. <laughs> Dang it. That means I'm going to have to run all the way out to the Mesa Baum. That's lovely. Um, I'll show you what it looks like so far. I didn't get much done because I ran out of blocks. I just added on the second layer. Um, as, I'll, as I said, I'm going to go in a block every time I go up a certain amount of blocks. As you can see, uh, it's not a good angle. Let's go up here by the Survival Lab. Alright, as you can see, that's kind of how it is. The bottom layer right there is six blocks, and the top one is five blocks so far. I think I want to take that one up six blocks too. And then, uh, I don't know. Because I don't want the top of it to be too thin, because I need, we need to go up there and look around, you know? Jeez, this is a tough decision, I don't know. Um, I might go up maybe six blocks, or maybe even seven blocks, and then another tower part go up like maybe seven blocks again, and then put the roof on it, and then do that. So I gotta run out to the Mesa Bomb. I got cactus green stuff here. Um, so I'm click. This stuff is not a problem. We just need clay, man. Uh, I hate running out here because it takes forever, and uh, oh well. It'll get done. So uh, I'm just gonna run out here real quick and be lonely <laughs> because I don't want to take you guys with me because that would be boring for you so you want to come with me cow no yeah that's what I thought okay okay be right back <laughs> ah this is nice took a break from mining and just relaxing in my hot tub here this nice little hot tub <laughs> this is really peaceful I broke into it here <laughs> Um, as you can see, I was just mining and I broke into it and it looked really cool. And it's way up here. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. There's my little sand pit where I get all my sand. Where's the sunset? I gotta see this. Where's the sunset? There it is. 
Where's all that orange? I like the orangeness. Oh, it hasn't come yet. We're gonna look at it together. This place is so much more bright with the lighting update. Wait, what the heck? Where's the sunset, man? What? I thought there was a sunset in this game. Am I wrong? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Wait. Did you guys see a sunset? Or maybe it already happened and I'm just way up high. Oh yeah. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this clay. Yeah, I'm gonna gather all this, but I found we have a lot of clay to gather. There's a lot up here and we're never gonna run out because if you guys didn't know, this is one of the largest Mesa biomes in Mesa history. Yeah, so I'm gonna get back to work here. <laughs> I'll see you guys back at the home. Alrighty, on our way back home. Collected a bit. I got one, two, three, four, five, six and a half stacks. I think that'll do good for now. Um, I really just want to get building, so I didn't grab a whole lot. And I didn't have enough room, so. Where did that just go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Throw that in there. Let's go create some of this stuff real quick. This green stuff. <laughs> and then we can continue work on the house here. Let me just plop some of this let me actually put that in the wait 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 let me go check this real quick before we do so <laughs> oh. <laughs> i'm still still trying to get around from them lily pads like trying to parkour from them it's quite hard i haven't got used to it yeah oh there we go <laughs> let me put some of these in here because it's never i never have enough of that so okay let's create some of this Okay, how much did that give us? Okay, that's enough for now. <laughs> now we're gonna build this a bit together, I thought, because a lot of you guys kind of like me building, so, uh, as in building with you guys. So we're gonna give it a shot here. Uh oh, do I have any ladders? Man, I can't wait to upgrade to my iPhone 6 Plus. This is so, like, jittery and laggy for me. Probably not enough. Dang it! Alright, dang it. Alright, we have a crafting table right here, though. We're good. Okay, is that enough? There we go. All right, all right, let's get to work now. <laughs> now, I think I want, these are six tall, and then this one is one, two, three, four, five. I think I want to go six, seven on this one. And the thing is, is I might have to go in one more, and I don't know if that'll be enough room for me to actually get in there to the top, if you know what I mean. I don't know, this might have to be the limit right here. Oh, Jesus, not torches, no. <laughs> Wait, did I already, was that already a stack? Holy crap, no, I don't think that was a stack. All right, um, we could probably jump down real quick and look, and last time I did this, I died. Oh, I have ladders, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, I'm always, is that, can I jump down? <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> I did that earlier and I died, and uh, it wasn't nice. All right, let's look. There will obviously be windows put onto it, so it's not gonna look bland like that. Uh, that might work. I want it to go a bit taller, but I don't think I can. That's four, that's like a four by four space in the inside, I think, is it? Yeah, I think four by four. If I go in one more, it'll be a two by two space, and that is way too tiny. So, uh, I don't know. Is that tall enough? No, what? It, it's tall enough for now. If we need it to go any taller, uh, we'll fix that in the future. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, I am actually planning on building this place even taller. Uh, I decided to because why not? You know, this is Minecraft Pocket Edition. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> so... That might be that. I don't think I want to expand it too much, like, length or width-wise. I think I'm just mostly going to, oh, wrong floor, expand it to more of a height because it would look way better and it would be more fun to move around in looking down at the world and whatnot. And actually, these windows right here, I'm going to have to get rid of these blocks and put panes because if you go up to them and look, you can't see outside as well. All you see is just trees and kind of the sky. So I'm going to have to fix that as well. I want to be able to look down at my creations. Why not? And my other plan is, before we continue on this, this thing right here. Um, I'm all about having things that look like it's supported in this world. Um, and as you can see, this is a floating thing. <laughs> or kind of supported by this glass. And it doesn't look good. 
it does not look good in my opinion. Let's go take a look at this actually. How do you get inside this thing? Hello, in here. Dallas is visiting. I've created this thing actually. <laughs> yeah, I, it's alright. It does the job sometime, but it's not as efficient. Um, probably because of how far I am from it and whatnot. I built it too far away or too close or one of them things. Um, but what I was getting at here is that I'm going to add support beams on it. So, um, like, probably in this general area, I'll put, like, right in the center here, a 2x2 a two two support beam of wood. And that'll connect to my house, obviously. And then over here, uh, this one will go all the way down, down there. And what I plan on doing, actually, actually, let's get this done and I'm going to cut it and show you because I have an amazing idea that I thought was so cool. Um... Because if you didn't know, in our world, we go by support beams. There's a lot of support beams on the house. This house was kind of designed to make it look like it's capable to withstand floods or something. Which there is none in Pocket Edition. But it's kind of cool. It has a cool theme to it. So that's what I might go for. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and work on this a bit. And then I'll show you some other things. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to give that a break. I'm, I can't think of anything that will make it look good. I'm going, I might have to redesign it or something because I just can't think of a good way. It needs to be taller, but if I go any taller, I would have to make it thinner to make it look good, and it would be too thin. And Yeah, I'm just going to have to make this main base a little bit taller, but I'll do that in between episodes. Um, hello there. What are you doing here? <laughs> you are not supposed to be by yourself. I don't think these can grow by themselves. Oh, well, it's staying. Now, I want to show you what I have in mind for the mob spawner because it's just a floating blob right now <laughs> and I have this idea this is a good spot actually to test these things out now the thing that's going to connect to the mob spawner is going to be four by or two by two like that and it's going to go down but if this goes all the way down to the ground in just a two by two fashion it would look kind of weird like a really skinny long pillar <laughs> so what I have in mind is when it reaches one point I am going to make it, like, okay, let's do some studying here. I'm going to explain, I haven't built it yet, so that's why I'm doing it with you guys. This is going to be what it looks like when it connects to the ground, like that. And then, let's say this will go up a certain height, probably halfway, and connect to the 2x2 two two pillar that connects to the mob spawner. Now, what this is going to look like is most likely something... Like, I don't know. We're, we're doing this together. I haven't built this yet. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like. Maybe something like that? Huh. There's someone hammering something outside. <laughs> Sorry if you hear that. Um, and then it'll connect to this. So it, like, transforms to a wider pillar at the bottom. I might have to do put these right there to make it look better. Something like that. Oh, two more. Maybe? Is that look good? I don't think I'm on a... Yeah, I want to turn that on again. <laughs> Make it interesting. Um, maybe that'll look good. Yeah, I think that will. Because... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm having a tough time, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll look good. Once that reaches the ground... Huh. You know, I'm going to do one of them and see how it looks. And then after that... I will check it out, and then if it looks good, we'll do it on all four sides. Let's go to sleep real quick. <laughs> Maybe that was a mistake putting it on that mode because all these mobs. <laughs> um, yeah, and actually, I also decided that I want to redesign this thing right here. This thing right here, because if you didn't know, I kind of a long time ago shut it down and just made it stop working. But I might want to get it going again and put it into the house and actually have another mob spawner inside of our house so let me go ahead and get this worked out and i'll try to do something oh my god <sighs> okay so i'm messing with a little something here i wanted to do it on this little side where i can actually stand on my roof and not pillar extremely tall so uh right now i have it where i i kind of did opposite where at the top it's going to start off like four wide I'm also grabbed fences because I thought it would be kind of cool since the inside is going to be empty. Maybe we can do something like, maybe something like this. I don't know. It might look a little weird, like, but have fences 
all the way at the top going all the way to, oh, that won't work. Well, we can put slabs right there. I don't know, I'm just trying to create a really strong looking pillars sort of thing. And uh, I want it to look really strong, as if it's actually supporting something extremely heavy. Like that right there so far. Um, maybe we can continue these. What if I do something like that? That looks interesting. <laughs> you know, we're just experimenting. Now, I'm having trouble trying to figure out some. So if you ever come up with a cool pillar design, uh, you can always send me screenshots on Twitter at DallasMed65. It'll be in the description. Um, I always look at them, and if I see something really cool, you never know, I might actually take that idea and use it in our world here. Um, does that look interesting? As if that's actually, I don't know, it might look like too much going on here. <laughs> Uh, this is something I might have to work on a bit more when I have the time to in between episodes. Let's just finish it up here and look at it. Oh, look at that sunset, man. Yeah. Just like that. I don't know. And then it'll go down and connect to a pillar that's, uh... Oh, Jesus, what's going on? Go to a pillar that is connected to, uh, I can't even speak right now. Two by two wide. I don't know. Yeah, that might look like way too much going on. I don't know if I like that a whole lot. Yeah, that's something to mess with. Oh, Jesus, it looks terrible. <laughs> oh, just imagining that on all four sides, I don't know if I'd like that a whole lot. Um, but yeah, that'll be that. Um, next episode, we uh, I think I want to... I'm probably going to work on this a bit more, get this tower finished. But before we actually continue extending the house even taller... I want to finish the freaking survival lab. <laughs> we never get that finished. Like, on all the episodes I actually started it, I never finish it, and it's kind of bothering me. So, um, now that I have two devices, I can actually watch my video from when I was building it and actually kind of get, uh, just watch how I place the blocks and whatnot, because I don't remember it by memory. I have to go back and watch the survival lab series I made. And then we can connect it to the house, and then connect it to this side, and... What not? So that should be fun, you know? You know? It should be fun. Whee! Alright, so guys. Oh my god, what? How? <laughs> I didn't know it would do that. Come on. I thought you could jump in one thick water. I don't know. Yeah, but this place is turning out alright so far. I don't know if. Do I have a staircase on this side yet? I do. Oh, no! Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah. That'll be that. Oh, man. My USB is not plugged in. <laughs> no wonder. I've never had that ha pop up on one of my videos, but uh, I finally did. It got me. This should look interesting. But yeah, guys, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I'm kind of tired. I've been up all night, and i got to get some sleep. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, always remember, leave a comment, share with your friends, leave a like to support the series, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of either UGC is what I'm now calling it, the Underground Castle series, or either this, whatever decides to be put out. So, see you guys later. Bye-bye.